morning, I've just come outside and obviously the temperature is a little bit warmer out here than it is in our nice air conditioned room. It's about what about seven in the morning? I've just come out, it's still steamy. Oh, I've just come out for a run. I can't believe how noisy it is and how busy it is at this time in the morning. But yeah, Stephen's still asleep. I'm gonna go for that's why it's so busy at this time. There is a school just like a couple of doors down from our hotel. Like, I haven't really been out this early. I'm always a bit later and obviously the school was in by that time. They start school early here. Right, I'm gonna go start running. I haven't run yet. Took some time, but we pointed out that tomorrow isn't here right now, baby An absent mind came to roam around Captured you in a foggy cloud, baby Standing on my toes on the edge, I'm ready to go I see it clear when the shadows are lit, I'm ready to go It is a couple of hours later now and we are kind of just having a lazy day today We were gonna go up to Penang Hill and time has gotten on and we just kind of thought, you know what? We're going to kind of do not really much today. I'm just heading out for a little walk. Stephen wants to go to the place where we went the other night. This is our last day in Georgetown, actually. We're moving on tomorrow. And he wanted to go to this place where we went to meet. There's nothing really there for me. I didn't really like it, but he liked it there. So, I've just come for a little walk out. I was getting, like, claustrophobic in that room. So, I wanted a little walk. Anyway, I'm going to come to see if... This place is open and if it's open, I don't know whether it opens at lunchtime the other day it was closed so if it's open I'm going to walk back, get Stephen and we'll go and get something to eat or at least he will anyway. Now this is the place we came to, it is closed, I think it only opens in the evening. I grabbed half a watermelon from our little local um, fruit store to go back with, we'll eat it back at home. Something I am really really missing at the moment is, and I always Traveling, is having a kitchen and having like a supply of food like we're never in any location long enough just like buy buy food really like and buy um really got myself one over there <laughs> like i really enjoy cooking and trying out new vegan recipes and things and i just don't get the chance to do that and i am missing it a lot so i think i booked a hotel for tomorrow night in Batu Ferengi, which is the beach, um, one of the beach areas anyway, in uh, Penang, which I'm very excited to get down to the beach. And I might have a little look and see if, depending on whether it's nice, I think it's a nice beach and nice place, but depending on what it's like when we get there, I might try and get, if we can get like a house, like an apartment or something, or at least some, like an Airbnb or something with the kitchen, so we can maybe stay in for like two weeks or so. I'm not sure at the moment. I don't know. We do have a uh, work away coming up in Thailand, kind of at the end of June, start of July. So we'll have a kitchen and everything then. But I'm not sure. I don't know what to do for like the, the remaining bit of June. It's my birthday at the end of June, 26th of June. So I kind of want us to be on a nice tropical island somewhere for my birthday. But we'll just have to see. finally out of the house he's been inside all day we are heading out now to go and get some tea going back to the place that we went to no it's just peddling well it's just been yeah, hard work like like yeah. yeah. Stephen's talking about <laughs> about them if it's hard work peddling because it depends on who you've got in them remember that well, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be really offensive I, when we saw a, a very large woman in, do you remember? And like a really old, old man pushing it, uh, pedalling it. Do you remember yeah. that? I don't know, I can't remember where that was. In but Denang, we went to that museum that I didn't like to go in it. Yeah, oh and yeah. And there's that massive, like, total boot pick thing. Oh, oh yes, that was what it was. They were, they were Americans. I'm not, I'm, 
There were a group of large Americans and there were like two of them each and each, you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying, like a little Vietnamese man was peddling along these like at least two larger American people. Anyway, we're going to this restaurant that we went to the other night, Stephen wants to go back to it. I hate going back to the same places, I always like trying different things, going new places, Stephen very much likes to just go back to the same place he finds somebody that he likes he's like yeah, can we go back there can we go back there can we go back there so we're going back there since this is our last night in georgetown traffic jam up ahead all the cars are white look um yes yeah, so we're going back there there's nothing for me to eat so i'm basically going to watch Stephen eat i think yeah. i think um well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether we're going to go somewhere afterwards so I can get something to eat or whether I can just find some sort of veggie something that I can just grab from a street seller. I don't know. In fact, I did see last night or one of the nights when I was out um, having a little evening walk by myself, there was like an Indian, one of the streets hey. that way. There was like loads right. of stores. Right, anyway, I'm waffling. Right, see you later. We're going the wrong way. We're at Stephen's restaurant choice. I did actually order something. I ordered Alu Gobi. It's very dirty. Yeah, it's very nice. I ordered um, a vegetarian Indian dish, so I'm gonna have that. So I don't have to go somewhere else to find me some food. <laughs> yeah. We're playing pool on the iPad whilst. Well, actually, I was going to say we'll have to wait, but my food's just arrived. It's even thrashing me. Oh, oh, hit it. You have four in in a row. Three in in a row. Four in in a row. Four in in a row. This looks nice. Four in in a row. Mmm, that looks really nice. Cauliflower, veggie, alu, alu gobi. Oh, it's hot. We finished our food, we're just going to wander down now. When I was on my walk this morning, I've been trying to hunt for the street art. As you know, I love street art. Well, you may know. I love street art and Penang is amazing for street art. There's so much street art. And I've been like, every morning I've been going out on like little street art walks to try and find different stuff. And I really wanted to find the swing street art. And this morning, it was, it was not marked on maps, and I was like, I've been Googling where is the swing, that's hard for me to say, swing street art in Penang. And I haven't been able to find it, and then just this morning, I was on my kind of run this morning, and I just stumbled across it. So, we're going to have a little walk down there now, check it out. I didn't actually go in and see it, I just like walked past it, and it was down a little alleyway, I was like, oh, I see it, it's there. We're walking down there now. Much to Stephen's disgust, to be quite honest. I don't know if it's just me being a dope that couldn't find the swing, but if you are in Penang, Georgetown, want to find the swing, then little tip, it's on Julia Street, which is one of the main kind of backpacker type streets just off Love Lane. If you head all the way down to the jetty, it is right near the end. We're nearly at the end. I will show you in a second when we get there. You're looking for this building. That's quite a distinctive building. Look for this building. And I think it's the next left. From what I can remember. I think it is just around this corner maybe. Yeah, it is. Here it is. Oh, there. Yeah. See, there is literally a swing. Stephen's just asking me, is there literally a swing? I was like, no, yeah. Not. Oh. Oh, you mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, you could, but you'd whack into the wall. No, oh no, they're connected to the wall. This fool has parked right opposite it. So I can't even, like, get a photo, I don't think. Stand on it. We got a picture, and actually, the car hops out at the end. I ended up resting my, um, my camera on the car bonnet and putting it on self-timer. So that was all good. Thanks, car, for parking there. That actually helped us out. We're gonna head back now, I think. And you wanna go home? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're gonna go home. 